Inside, or did you forget? We're sorry, we're very sorry, but something amazing happened. I'll say amazing when suddenly, right before the 11 o'clock number, this, this whole pack of you jumps up right out of your seats, turns and races straight up the center aisle like a bunch of Meshuganers. It was Evelyn. All of a sudden, just like that, she goes into labor. And being Evelyn, she wouldn't tell us until her pain was only five minutes apart. We just a second ago got her into a cab. So what the hell are you doing here? My wife wouldn't let me. <laughs> Evelyn refused to let Charlie miss our first opening night. Look, she even gave me a tape recorder to record the applause. Uh, from your mouth to God's ear. Yeah, the very second the applause over, I've got a cab waiting, so you, Beth, and I will fly to that hospital in record time, I promise. They're quiet. Very quiet. When an audience is quiet like that, it means they're really concentrating. Shut up, Mary. We should go back in for the closing. I didn't mean the closing. Here, Mama. Now that cab with the meter running, right there, that is for Charlie. So you and Daddy take that one right behind it. Oh, I wanted Frankie to be here opening night. Frankie's too young to be here opening night. Mama, hurry. And we both thank you very much, and we both love you very much. Now hurry. I don't understand why in hell any human being would Ever, ever, ever want to live in New York City. <laughs> Charlie, hmm? let's do another show. Yeah, and another, and another, and another. And I'll produce it. Wait a minute, Joe. You'll produce Take a Left. I say first get yourselves a couple of hits to show you can make money. Then, then you can do that political flop to show you you got integrity. <laughs> Me, I've got such an idea for you guys. So commercial. First you'll hate it. You'll love it. Frank, you know I never say anything, but I am going to say this. For me, for me, do just one more for Joe, and then you can go do Take a Left. I know the kind of music I want to write. And, and I also know it's hard on you right now, but Beth, I'm asking you to trust me. And I'm asking you to trust me. Beth, guys, right now is the time you've got to do your own work. You don't have a child, Mary, and you just had yourself a bestseller. So, of course, that's all very easy for you to say. Oh, Beth, believe me, success ain't all it's cracked up to be. Well, I think Charlie and I will handle success very well. Yeah, look how well we've handled failure. <laughs> okay. Listen to that. Will you listen to that? Do you know what that means? Let me tell you what that means. Wait, no, anyone who even thinks it, don't say it, you'll jinx it. Listen to that. Did you listen to that? Does that make you feel proud? Well, feel more than just proud. Okay, wait, I'll tempt fate and I'll state it out loud. A hit gang, I think this is it. No more right, clever little shows for those basement salutes. No more plot proclamations from the pros that you can't on the tunes. No more sneaking in an intermission to the place you wish you could afford. More producers having you audition whenever they're bored. Say right away as you play the first chord. Voice, 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 voice. I think it's very, 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 uh, what's the word? Uh, interesting. Uh, interesting, yeah. 
And if I had even the slightest belief any audience would want to see this, I put in a minute. Next! Hit where I hit. Standing up the whole bit. No more coaching those sopranos with voices like bees. No more secondhand pianos with six broken keys. No more agents giving you opinions as they turn you over to their minions. Just, Just for these, these guarantees, guarantees, we should please thank the Lord. It's a hit, it's a hit. Will my folk have a fit after all of that baloney? They made me go through all that honey. Not that he's a phony, but what does he do? Will their faces be stony when they see on their side? Someone handing the phony the Tony Award. Oh, I would like to begin by thanking all the hundreds of people who turned down every show I've ever written so that I could win tonight for this one. Thank you. Listen to that. Would you listen to that? Tell me, is that a noise or is that a noise? That is a noise we've been waiting the whole of our lives to hear. Listen to that. Listen Did to you that listen, to that? listen to that? Honey, is that I a noise or is that a noise? That, that is the loveliest noise for a breadwinning wife to hear. Listen to that. That's a Listen to that. 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 A minute, at least it's a win. It's the theater to really in it, not just on the edge. Your spirits have a need improving. You can drop in any night for free. But the thing is positively moving. You could have fooled me. Is we're still old friends. Nothing can kill old friends. Where there's a will, old friends don't need success to survive. Everybody lives for. Now we go in and we fake being modest. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm having a baby. We're coming with you. Me too. What about the opening party? Okay, uh, you two go to the party. Uh, Frank, um, I'll do one more show for Joe Josephson, but only one. One more, and then it's our time. One more. Frank, I was there for Evelyn's last baby, and I want to be there for this one, too. But you go on ahead. No, honey, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. I am so proud of you. If I don't see you at the hospital, I'll see you at home. I love you so much. Beth? With Gussie in there, I urge you to go with Frank. Sometimes you have to trust, Mary. Sometimes you don't. I would never want a man I couldn't trust. Okay. Oh, hey, big man, you got to ride. I can only stay one party. or two minutes. Was that not why we do all this? <laughs> Was that not just heaven? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to go make nice with the back as you two take our car. I won't be able to afford this big man now. You mm -hmm. watch. So often I've just wanted to thank you. It's been such a blessing to find another pure artist. But Franklin Shepard, I think there has been a conspiracy to keep you from me. Miss Carnegie, I owe you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you a few years ago? It's fate that brought us together. Now, all you have done this past month is work, work, work. Tonight, let me show you how divine it is to be number one. Everyone is waiting to meet the man of the hour. Dreams don't die, so keep an eye on your dreams. Cause before you know it, you are there, you are. 
time goes by and dreams go dry, but you can't give up on your dreams. Tend your dreams. Some dream. roads are easy. Dreams take time. Some roads are all uphill. Time goes Some by. Some roads you plow along with a will. Some roads you travel just for the thrill. Tend your dreams. Some dream. roads are easy. him yet, but it's obvious he didn't invite us here because we fit in so well. I'm more sure than ever he wants to option our show. I'm sure too, uh, but let's not be too sure. Oh, oh. I just have the pastry concession. You're the one who's supposed to handle the business. I'm handling it. I'm handling Just you watch, Charlie. All these years we've spent writing, they are finally going to pay off. I don't care what he asks, you just say yes. All I want is for us to be rich as long as we've been poor. Yes, there are a lot of <laughs> sophisticated people here. Oh, God, if I'd known that, I would have worn earrings. <laughs> uh, let's go. Come on. What's wrong? Those people over there, they're, they're smoking marijuana. I've smelled that before in the village. I thought it was autumn. C come on. <laughs> We saw the new darling. We had the most fat. It was good. It's the biggest. Well, he can't, but he is still is the dumbest. He's a genius. He's fat. Hi, I'm Franklin Shepard. I don't know if you remember me. Oh, this is Charlie Kringis, who writes my lyrics, and Beth, my wife, Beth. <laughs> remember you. You're the reason we're given this bash, according to my accountant, anyway. Do you write songs, too? No, right now I'm the family breadwinner. Ah, you don't mind if I kidnap him, do you? I have invited the richest and most influential people in this town tonight. Well, not of whom are as rich or influential as you are going to be. I call them the Blob. They absorb everything. Meet the Blob. The bodies you read about. The ones who know everyone that everyone knows. Hi, dreadful silence! Meet the Blob. Not many and yet all oh, right. You never see one. What? No. They come as a set. Who? Him? And we're in their debt. What do you think? Cause Hami Bunch, they write the books and put on the shows and run the saloons and design the clothes. They keep us natives on our toes. I'll be Warhol Kurosawa. And they read the books and go to the shows and swamp the saloons wearing all the clothes. Watch it, my car like a lot. But they're the most important people in the most important city, in the most important country, in the you-know-what. Heavy 